Annabelle, did you know triggerfish use their dorsal and anal fins to swim? Anal? Mm. Hey you all, Carpetbagger here along with Anna. You there, Anna? Hey! And then Mystery Wife is also with us. We are spending the uh, weekend here in Gatlinburg and uh, we're going to start out with the aquarium, the Gatlinburg staple. Anna, Anna, do that dance you were just doing. What are you looking for, Anna? Ah! Oh, the electric eel is right there. What you doing, Zappy? Oh, the back of water! The back side of water! Oh yeah, whatever. Some mud skippers. Anyone remember uh, Muddy Mud Skipper from Ren and Stimpy? Here we have drifters. Why don't you get why don't you get a job, you no good drifters? <laughs> Where are the fish going? They're all going that way. It's like an endless supply of fish. Oh wait, these three are these three are going the wrong way. Those are literally shark fins. Da da. Oh, look, they're going all the way around. You're a big fish, my friend. I really love fish. I think I could just like stare at fish all day and just be lulled into a nice, comfortable coma. Look, there's Dory. Dory? Oh, yeah. Where's Nemo? Lagoon. Hopefully we don't get murdered by sharks. Anna, watch out for that grouper. Well, this is the amazing shark tunnel. Actually on a conveyor belt, slowly winding through a tunnel full of live sharks. Luckily there's this glass here to keep the sharks from biting my face off. Are we the only people in the aquarium right now? Look at this dude. Oh my gosh. It's coming right at me. Why is that terrible? Look at that guy. Oh my goodness, that one's a big one. No, his teeth. He's got crazy on his stare too. He's got crazy eyes? He's, he's mentally unbalanced? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a shark over your head. They say there's tarpons here, but I don't see any. I guess the sharks ate them all. Oh, here's a crazy guy. Why doesn't why doesn't he eat all those fish? There's fish right here, and look at there's like actually a glass bottom boat that sails over top the uh, shark pit. So their eyeballs look fake? They're black, like a doll's eyes. The scratches you see are the result of a shark attack on the acrylic tunnel. Look at that, a shark went crazy. He didn't want to be here anymore. He'd had enough. He tried to eat his way out so he could eat all the humans in Wait, Gatlinburg. Yeah, I like how these sawbills, sawfish, sawbills, what are they called? But anyway, they just like kind of sit on top of the tube looking creepy and having big weird mouths. Touch this part of your finger on the top 
surface of the jellyfish did they come up? All right, Anna, touch the jellies. I'm terrified. The two fingers on the top. Yep. Not the bottom. Right here, that's a good one. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's very slimy. Feels well, like... These jellyfish didn't touch that one. one. Okay. Like this one here. Touch them? Yeah, feel free to touch it. Hey there, horseshoe crabs. What are you doing? How are you guys doing tonight? Big ones are the females and the smaller ones are the males. Okay. <laughs> You don't fit? You don't fit? Hi. Seems comfortable. Why is it so small? It's like it was designed for children. <laughs> yeah. What's it like being a fish? Hello, Mr. Fish Guts. How are you doing this evening? Oh, I see that your brain is glowing. I'm the brains of this oh. marine unit. The command center. I tell this marine unit what to think and when to think it. Oh, wow. Why don't they let you pet these jellyfish? They feed on other jellyfish. Oh, these giant crabs. I want to eat those. Yeah, they make me so hungry. <laughs> Here is one of what I think is one of the most amazing animals in the entire world is a cuttlefish. I don't think they're gonna do it for me, but they can change colors at will, and they can do it so fast that they actually like can flash colors, like a pulsating change in colors. Love these guys, so cool. I remember seeing this on a nature documentary, and I was like, that is the best animal ever. Looks like we have a Pearl Harbor exhibit. I guess we don't really think about how that affected the fish too much, do we? It's like a Japanese, oh my God, there's a shark in there with this Japanese uh, plane wing. That's pretty cool. Hey, Sharky. Hey, buddy, don't, don't get too close to that. It's gonna blow up if you, if you peck it with your little fish mouth. And here's something you wouldn't normally see in an aquarium. It's a wax figure of FDR. But this is actually really interesting. I've seen a lot of figures of FDR in different wax museums, but this one here has a unique feature. He actually has leg braces, which I've never seen him actually portrayed with his leg braces on. Very interesting. What you doing, Anna? A deep sea diver, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good good commitment to the park. <laughs> what am I out? Uh, the soldier. Okay. okay, it is pretty cool how they've actually incorporated the fish into this exhibit. There's the Japanese torpedoes in here. Got hammerheads and uh, stingrays floating around. Hey, buddy. Oh, look at this cow nose right here. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's huge. Hey, getting excited. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, now they have a nice penguin exhibit here, but it's almost 10 o'clock. So I guess they got the penguins tucked in for night. For the night, it gets kind of dark in here. How are you doing, buddy? You supposed to be asleep? All these other penguins look like they're laying down. You having trouble getting to bed? Oh, and there he is. I've seen him before. There's Frank the Penguin. Hey guys, good night. Oh, good night, Elvis. feeding fish heads to the stingrays. Oh, there he goes. Nom, 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 nom. 
I think my wife wants to buy one of these rainbow universe penguins. What's this? It's like a glass? You fill up only shark the glass, shark. But it only contains a shark's worth of liquid. See, and the mermaid even has less. That's literally like a shot in there. But what I like is this water bottle shaped like a bullet. Just walk around carrying a bullet into work. Rosebud. Why is it snowing at the bottom of the ocean? I'm trying to find my way around Gatlinburg here. They have the trolley system, which is amazing because it only costs 50 cents to ride it. But it's a little nonsensical. That guy's parked right there. He's going to Dollywood and no one's getting on because Dollywood is closed. So I'm not really sure why they're running a tram to Dollywood. It's, it's not open and it's a ways away. And then the, the tram that just takes you up the road to the main strip, which is, you know, just right there up the hill, is, is going to be here in 30 minutes. So, not really comprehending that schedule. Maybe I'm missing something. So I'm gonna go get the van. Um, Anna and wife are uh, gonna wait down there and I'm gonna pick them up. There's a 10 person limit on this elevator. I'm gonna be riding it myself. I'm just worried about my fatness because, you know, I, I may be the same weight as 11 people. I definitely wanted to say a few words about the aquarium. That is absolutely one of my a favorite one of my favorite aquariums in the country. I'd say, you know, gun to my head, I'd probably say the aquarium in Atlanta is probably the best aquarium, but this, this uh, one in Gatlinburg, the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg, probably my second favorite. Maybe not the most, you know, it's not like, it's not dry and educational like certain aquariums, like the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Very well presented, very theatrical. Just a very, very cool experience with some amazing fish and that awesome shark tunnel. And it, it is worth noting that um, during the fires, that aquarium came very close to being destroyed. It's dark so you can't see, but this area all back here was all burned. From what I heard, this parking structure that I'm standing on right now is actually what saved uh, Ripley's from being burned. And if Ripley's had caught fire, who knows how far that could have spread to other attractions. So thank God for this parking structure. It may have actually saved the city. Check this out. The legendary, mysterious mansion here in Gatlinburg. This is the classic haunted house attraction. Really cool looking. Oh, what's up there? Someone creepy. Ah! I would go in there, but I don't know. I have a thing, a hang up with haunted houses. I, you know, obviously I don't think that monsters are real or that I will be harmed, but I have this thing about being startled. I am easily startled and I am drastically startled when that startling occurs. So yeah, I sometimes have a hard time just my nerves. Have a hard, yeah, that organ music's creepy and my nerves inside of a haunted house. Ugh. Now one thing that's super popular you'll see all over Gatlinburg is these stores that sell nothing but ninja equipment and blow darts and bongs. So you see here you can buy swords, nunchucks, shackles, you know, everything you need to be a sickles, everything you need to be a psychomaniac. We'll never accept the fact this horse isn't any way normal. Alright, having some dinner here at Mellow Mushroom Pizza, the psychedelic drug influenced pizza chain. In Galbert, even they have a moonshine bar. Check that out, we got a mural of Popcorn Sutton playing the banjo. And then up here we have some pink elephants dancing with a wizard and a anthropomorphic bottle of moonshine. I guess they're all drunk. What's that, is that? Moonshine's still in hell. 
nothing gets you high like a slice of pizza pie. I can think of a couple things. Don't look now, but there's a Tyrannosaurus behind you. I've already seen it. It's horrifying. You like your giant pizza? Look how bone I got, what did I get? It says ribeye, uh, portobello mushrooms, come out of olive. Pretty good. King of pies? Alright, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, me, Anna, and my wife, we're gonna spend uh, this weekend in uh, Pitch and Forge in Gatlinburg. And normally, um, when I come over here, I don't live too far away, so I, I usually make day trips here, but someone was kind enough to allow me to use their cabin, which I greatly appreciate. I want to send my thanks out uh, to that person. Uh, we're going to be trying to get some cool stuff done in the next couple days, hopefully get some videos uh, from the Gatlinburg area uploaded uh, pretty soon. So, for tonight, this one is in the bag.